Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, my smart students. How are you today, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science class, and today we're going to revise what we have learned before. So, we don't have a new lesson, only a revision. So, I need your help, everyone, to read the day and date. So, yesterday was Monday, so what day comes after Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday, and the date is 19, 2020. Okay, everyone, so we're going to revise Unit 3, Lesson 1. So, get your science book in case you need to use it. Grab some pencils and let's do some actions. Or do you want to use your imagination? Okay, so use your imagination. Close your eyes. Imagine that you are in the middle of nature. There are beautiful landscapes around you. There, is mount there are mountains, trees. What else? What else, everyone? Rivers. Mm. What else? Hills. And valleys, right? Okay. So in nature, always there are changes. Some of the changes are slow and some of the changes are quick. Okay? So, quick changes, let's say like volcanoes and what else? Mm, think about it. And some slow changes are weathering and erosion. And we have learned before what does the word weathering mean and also what does the word erosion mean and today we're gonna revise them again and now let's read the objectives together I can recognize the slow changes happening in the earth's surface I can define weathering and erosion Okay, so everyone, before starting the lesson, there are two videos. I want you to watch the videos because the videos will help you to remember the things that we have learned before about weathering and erosion. Excellent. So everyone, now I want you to open page 26 and write the day and date. So before we talked about this picture, who can remember what did we say about this picture? We said that the water made a tunnel in the mm, In the rock. middle of the rock. Okay, so we said before that the water made a tunnel in the middle of the mountain or the rock, let's say. It looks like a mountain, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a big rock. This happened because of the because of weathering and erosion. Change the rock. Pieces of sand and rock carried in the water wore away. The surface water flowing through the opening carried these pieces away. So everyone, as I explained to you before that the water is very strong and it can change any land form in nature. So can you explain to us what does or can you think about the meaning weathering and what does the word weathering mean? I think weathering means when water and wind break pieces of rock. Break pieces of rocks and what do you think everyone and what about erosion what does it mean erosion means water or wind carrying something from one place to another carrying one thing let's say um small sand. pieces of rocks or sand from one place to another excellent so everyone which sentence about weathering and erosion is false let's read erosion can be caused by wind or water is it correct yes well then weathering can be caused by wind or water correct correct erosion is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces wrong 
It does not break it down to smaller pieces. It carries it to one place to another. Weathering breaks rocks down into smaller pieces. Okay, so do you think this is this is the false one? Yeah. Okay, let's see the last one. Sometimes erosion can be as it happens and sometimes it cannot. Yeah, sometimes erosion can be seen as it happens and sometimes it can't. Yes, it's correct. Sometimes erosion can be seen as it happens and sometimes it can't. Yeah, sometimes we can see it and sometimes we can't see it. So the answer is C. C. Because can you explain to us why it's false? Weathering is a breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces, not erosion. Erosion carries one thing, like erosion is when water and wind carries one thing from one place to another. So everyone, let's say weathering, okay, can be caused by wind and water, and the water and wind they will, let's say, break down the rock into, yeah, smaller, into pieces. smaller pieces. Why erosion is when the uh, is, is when water and wind carry the small pieces of rock and sand from one place yeah, to see? another. See, for example, the river. The river can move and take the sand and the small pieces of rocks from place to another place okay so let's read what's written over here weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces erosion is when the bits of rock get carried away so the water and wind are very strong the water uh can let's say break the rocks imagine into small or smaller pieces and also the wind can carry the sand or the small pieces of rocks from one place to another excellent okay circle the process that can cause uh, very slow changes to earth's surface so what is the slow changes weathering excellent and erosion well done we call them everyone slow changes, changes because everyone they take a long time to change and happen and here we go this is the last thing that we're going to do today so read the following sentences write t if the sentence is true and f if the sentence is false true means correct and false means wrong, wrong. Slow changes of Earth's surface can be easily noticed by everyone. Do you think it's correct? No, it's false. It's false. So the slow changes like weathering and erosion, everyone can see them. No, not all the time. Sometimes people can't see them. So this is false. False. Let's read the second one. Weathering is one of the slow process that causes that cause changes in Earth's surface. So do you think weathering can change the surface of the Earth? Yes. And it's also? A slow change. Okay, so it's correct. Let's check the answers. Correct. Our answers are correct. Okay, and there is one more thing to do before finishing our lesson. Sorry for this. Okay, so let's do it, everyone. It's super easy. Complete the following sentences by writing the missing words. Okay, so let's read. Is the baking down of rocks into smaller pieces? Weathering. So weathering, when the wind or water break the rocks into small, small rocks small or... pieces okay remember this okay so weathering okay when the wind and water break down the rocks into smaller pieces and let's read number two happens when 
Wind or water carries away small rocks and salt to another place. What do we call it? Erosion. Excellent. So let's try the answers here. Okay, before writing the answers, oh, everyone remember, please put this in your mind. Okay, so when we say weathering, the key word is breaking. The key word is breaking. breaking. And when we say uh, erosion, the key word is carrying. carrying, carrying, to carry. Okay, so let's write the answer here. So the answer is weathering. Okay, and over here the answer is erosion. Okay, can you help me to write? Yes. E uh, R R O S I O N. Well done. So, one more time. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller rocks or smaller pieces and erosion happens when wind or water carries away small rocks and soil to another place so everyone have a great day and see you tomorrow bye bye